Hi there, my name is Matti Sulanto. I'm a photographer based in Helsinki, Finland. And in this video I'm gonna take a look at the Sigma 16mm f1.4 for the Micro Four Thirds system. And to do that I came to a very special location. I'm in Suomen Linna. It's an old fortress island just outside of Helsinki, about 15 minute ferry trip away from the central market square. And this is a great place to shoot. You can do landscapes and great details and there are old buildings and pretty much, you know, everything. It's a great place to shoot. Okay, I think it's time to put on some more clothes. It's surprisingly chilly here, even though the day is pretty, but uh, the wind is cold. Oh. And the gloves, otherwise my fingers go numb and I can't handle my camera anymore. So early in the spring, it's probably not the best time to be here because everything is still gray and there's no green anywhere. But it's been a long time since I was here last time and I very seldom come here so early in the spring. So I decided to come and see how it looks and how the Sigma handles this beautiful island. Ah, oh, this is nice and warm. There's no wind here and the sun is shining. My first impressions of this lens are favorable. This is a sleek, uh, simple matte black design like almost all modern Sigma lenses are. The focal length is 16 millimeters and uh, the fastest aperture is f1.4. I like this kind of wide-angle lens for general photography, as I've said many times before. But now I'm going to take some more pictures and I'll get back to the lens and more details in a bit. I guess the best time to come here would be 6 o'clock in the morning and catch the very first ferry but I'm way, way too lazy to do that and way too slow in the mornings to do that. This place is pretty cool, isn't it? And this lens, this lens is pretty big for a Micro Four Thirds lens. But I guess it's because Sigma uses the same basic design also for APS-C. I'm not a lens designer, but I think you could make this lens with similar specifications much smaller if you did it only for Micro Four Thirds. Um, but I can't blame Sigma for doing what they did. I guess it also helps uh, keeping the price more affordable for all of us. By the way, have you ever wondered why they always recommend a wide-angle lens for landscapes? For somebody like me, who's relatively unexperienced landscape photographer, I find that with a wide-angle it's way too easy to fill the foreground of the image with some 
useless empty space and um, I think uh, at least for me uh, telephoto lens is much more easy to use in landscape photography but now I'm gonna go and uh, uh, practice some more landscape photography with this nice Sigma 16mm f1.4 lens I was looking for a hot cup of coffee, but unfortunately this cafe is still closed. I guess they open later in the spring when there are more tourists around. Now that I've been using this Sigma for a while, I can say it's a pretty decent lens. The sharpness and contrast are really great throughout the aperture range. Of course, when you stop down you uh, get a little bit better performance, but still all in all I would say uh, in that regard, this is a great lens, and uh, part of that is because, um, I think, because it um, uses the sweet spot of the image circle, which actually covers a little bit larger APS-C sensor. I got some reflections and flare when I pointed this directly into the sun and uh, purposely tried to get some reflections, but they are not really extreme or something that would completely ruin your shot. The distortions and chromatic aberrations are not problem and also not the vignetting and that is also because uh, it covers a bigger sensor so the vignetting that's probably there it's left outside of the micro four thirds frame. But now I'm gonna find that hot cup of coffee and while I'm doing that I'll let you uh, check out some pictures that I shot. No luck with the coffee yet. I guess the only open cafe is where the ferry leaves and I'm right now at the other end of the island so I don't want to walk there right now. But let's have a look at the specifications of the Sigma a little bit. The optical construction is 16 elements in 13 groups including 5 special glass elements and 2 aspherical elements. And according to Sigma this is dust and splash proof design and the filter thread is 67 millimeters and the lens hood is included which is very good. The autofocus of this Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4 is really fast and reliable. It feels as fast as the best current micro four thirds lenses. And the minimum focusing distance is 25 centimeters which is pretty normal for a wide angle like this. This is such a great place. You can shoot landscapes, old buildings, great details, and there's even a submarine here. So if you're ever in Helsinki, you gotta come and see this place. If you're still watching, you probably like this video and you may also like my other videos. So please consider subscribing to my channel and tap the bell there also so you won't miss any of my future videos. I'll publish a new video every Tuesday and every Friday. At least it's not crowded here at this time of year. When it's really pretty sunny summer day this place is packed. Both locals and tourists come here to enjoy this beautiful island. But now I'm gonna enjoy some more photography before I head home.
almost time to go home, but let's conclude this Sigma review first. Uh, I think this is a great lens for any Micro Four Thirds camera. The build quality seems very solid. It's dust and splash proof and it's optically good or even better than good. And the price is about 400 euros or dollars. The only downside I can <laughs> the only downside I can figure out is the relatively large size. So if you're looking for a fast wide angle for your Micro Four Thirds camera, take a look at this before you buy anything else. But now it's time for me to head home. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.